thing. Yeah, the fire department saves lives and Christmas. And you know, I thought it was really cool that they didn't want to just get the kids toys, but they kind of took the chance to find out exactly what these kids like so they could try really hard to get them what they were going to want to open up this morning. And, you know, after being here and talking to the families, it wasn't just for the kids. This was pretty inspiring for me. And so I hope it is for you at home, too. We're just fortunate to be alive, like blessed that I was awake and could get us out of the apartment and we did indeed lose everything. Imagine the fear. The fire was huge, moved quickly and emptied homes, not only at the tail end of this terrible year, but just days before Christmas. Luckily, no one lost their life, but Krista Smith and her little boy have to start over with nothing. There definitely was a moment when you're seeing them throw all your stuff out like after the fire because they want to make sure the fire doesn't reignite that it's like, oh, we literally don't have anything left. They lost everything. I mean, they have nothing left. The entire unit was completely burned out. And so now to at least give, give uh, you know, her son, you know, some toys back and a little sense of normalcy again, I think that's great. And we love to be able to do that. The fire department got to work right after leaving the scene here at the Allure Apartments. They wanted to give these kids a big Christmas. The emphasis on big. Look at all these toys. Merry Christmas. <laughs> this stuff is for you. And I say, wow, amazing, amazing. I'm just happy to see my sisters getting something for Christmas because we honestly weren't going to get, we weren't planning on anything like this. Um, when I saw their faces in there, I got happy because one of them went straight to one toy that she really liked. <laughs> and that made me laugh, but it was something something funny. <laughs> this holiday is never really about material things, and that's what Smith is reflecting on today because tragedy puts life in perspective. I mean, I think my purpose in this is like just to help people understand like you don't have to be destroyed by a traumatic experience. You don't have to let that define you. Like you do you always have the option to move forward. The big thing for all of these families is that they're just glad they are all here still together. Live in Woodland Hills, I'm Brooke Thomas, Fox 11 News.